welcome to Would I Lie to You at Christmas, a very special edition filled with festive fibs. On Lee Max team tonight, a comedian and actor who has played a social worker and a nurse. So please stand outside your front door and clap for Joe <laughs> Brand. And uh, an ex-East Enders star who loves a traditional Christmas day where he gets run over, his wife has an affair, and the Queen Vic burns to the ground. <laughs> it's Joe Squash. <laughs> and on David Mitchell's team tonight, a comedian and host of the show Travel Man, or as it was renamed for 2020, Staying in the House Man, <laughs> it's Joe Lysett. <laughs> And a, a talented and versatile actor who tonight is taking on her toughest role yet, pretending to be happy being on David's team. It's Ruth Madeley. <laughs> we begin with round one, Home Truths, where our panellists read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before. They have no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to sort the fact from the fiction. Joe Lysett is first tonight. Oh, yes, OK. I once had a fight with a flamingo and what? <laughs> <laughs> Last Christmas, the biggest family row in the Lysett household was over how many doof-doofs there are in the EastEnders' closing theme tune. Oh. Lee Max yeah. team. So you mean the bit just before the music starts, the... I think, I mean, obviously, you know, I, you I were in EastEnders. I, yeah, but I never actually got myself a Duff Duff. Oh, no. I was there for six years, no Duff Duff. You never had a Duff Duff? I, did, I had one Duff Duff and, and Wendy Richards was in it, and then when they took it to the edit, they zoomed in on her and cut me out of the Duff Duff. <laughs> How many Duff Duffs did your family decide there were? So, it was a generational gap. Yeah. So, me and my sister thought there were eight, because there are eight. <laughs> my parents... <laughs> Thought there were seven. Give us, give us your eight. Doof, 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 doof. Oh, well, I think no, you're sorry, wrong. That, excuse me, though. No, 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 that can't be. That's not how many doof doofs doof, there yeah. are. That's how many doofs there are. If the unit is doof doof, <laughs> then there are four. <laughs> he, he does have that a point. Is you know. David has never been invited to someone's house for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I think you stuck too many doofs in there. Go on, you do it. Doof! 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 Do, 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 do. No, no, that's no, not no, 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 that's not it. You were in the show! <laughs> did you, at the end of the night, find out exactly how many doof doofs there were, or did you just leave it, we are right, you are wrong, without knowing? Yeah, basically, of... we didn't rewind. So we don't we actually know else. right now with our eight. Well, we do, it's eight, it is well, eight. You ain't really checked it, have you? Yeah, I have. You have checked it. But well, you didn't because check I've it at the time. I've watched EastEnders and I know. But I've watched EastEnders, but I don't ever count. I don't think you have. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only three. Because I think the fast ones at the end aren't duff duffs, they're something else. But like oh. a little. <laughs> I'm sort of with Joe. I think it's probably two to two and a half doof doofs or four to five doofs What's before the doof? nature, doof, 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 doof. The nature oh, yeah, of the noise changes such that it can no longer be labelled either a doof or a half Agreed. doof doof. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Well, bearing that in mind and knowing your love for music, give us your rendition, then, of <gasps> the end drum. Now, I feel that would be... I, I would, I would, I'd be humiliated. Would you like me to give you a lead-in, a dramatic moment? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Elsie, who works okay. in a laundry. Who's Elsie? She was never in EastEnders. She's a character that I've created. Well, what about Doc Cotton? Can't you yeah. Her? You look you a bit like Doc Cotton. Dad. You do a bit. You've got... <laughs> you've definitely got... Doc Cotton, look! You do? You've got that nose! <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think that's a bit jaggy you're doing there, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what's happened to my laundry. It's gone somewhere. <laughs> Doof, 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 doof. All right. <laughs> um, what do you hey, think? Well, that sounds like the washing machine's broken. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think after about five minutes, I would have just gone to the, gone to the YouTube and had a little look on there. I, I think he's lying. I always like to go counterintuitive, so I'm going to say I, I think he's lying as well. Yeah. OK. I'm going to have to say lie. You're going to have to say lie. Time. OK, Joe Lysett, truth or lie? It's a lie. Oh, <laughs> that is so sad. It's so sad. 
And Joe Swash, there's a treat for you because you said you never had a, a doof doof. We're going to yeah. give you one tonight. Whatever you want to say, yeah. something dramatic, and yeah. it's going to come in. It's going to happen. And to trust you. me, it doesn't matter what you say because we're all just going to be counting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe, here we go. Is it my baby? Oh, there's nine. 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 Ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. Nine. It's nine. nine. It's nine. There was nine. nine in there. Oh. It's nine. <laughs> Joe Swash, you're next. Okay. One Christmas, I accidentally put the wrong address in my mum's sat nav, and instead of driving to Lakeside, she drove all the way to the Lake District. <laughs> 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 hey, David's team. Geographically, where yeah. was the starting point? Well, well, it was London, yeah. It was a long time ago. It was when the, the sat nav, remember it was called Tom Tom? Actually, it wasn't called Tom Tom. What was it, it called? It was called Tom 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 Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've always had slight dyslexia as a kid. So I sort of. Oh, so maybe it wasn't a Tom Tom. Maybe it was your MOT. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. Good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just put it in wrong. And well, then, yes, and obviously, like... that's not a detailed explanation no. of what went awry. What so would what, you like what, to know? What did you do? Type in the word lakeside. I stuck in LA, put in the first couple of letters, and then it predicts the word for you. You put LA in, your mother what? drove off towards Los no. Angeles, and you went, stop, stop. <laughs> and you <laughs> saved it with a K. Yes. And then you said, all right, fine, that's fine. There can't be more than one place beginning L-A-K. <laughs> it finished Lake Windermere, off she drove. No, what I, would, I, I must have put in the lake and then it, it filled the rest in and I must have pressed, just pressed Lake District, taking yeah. for granted that. And, and you are saying, with a straight face, that your mum, was it just your mother? No, it wasn't my mum. It was my mum and her next-door neighbour, Debbie. Right. They just kept driving until it got dark. <laughs> and, and then... <laughs> And then what my mum said was, is that they got so scared because it was just them two in the car and they didn't know where they were going. My mum doesn't know how to do the, the top, the sat nav and all that business. Um, that they thought it would be safer just to continue to where they were going <laughs> and then just work out what to do the next day. So they went to the Lake District. They arrived in the Lake District? Yes. It but took them, like, the six hours. Yeah, they got... <laughs> it took what? Six hours? Yeah. They, 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 they took some wrong turns. So they had to get a hotel and stay in yeah. the Lake District. Oh. I swear... Oh. I'm... Come on. I'm telling you, so, 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 we've been doing this show for many years and Rob has never in the middle of it gone, no! <laughs> Three hours in, they got so far that they weren't going to come back in the same day. They were going to continue and stay where they were. Yeah. They, Debbie phoned her husband, which I think they should have done a lot earlier because he <laughs> he's a cab driver. <laughs> Even if he wasn't, it would make sense really to make contact. So what do they do, Joe? They, they did they stay over there? They stayed over. And they, then what? I got a phone call. Yeah. They, they were fuming. They, they were must have been livid. The thing was like that. My mum didn't know where anything was. She didn't know how to get to places, so she would follow that sat nav. Regardless, whether it took her into the sea, she'd be in the sea, she'd follow it. So and she... yet you put the destination in with such little care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just didn't think I was going to... Honestly, when, when she told me, even I was surprised. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I asked all the same that. questions as you asked, like, why didn't you come home? Why did you stay? <laughs> None of it made sense to me either. But the one thing she said was, <laughs> is that they were very scared, they didn't know where they were going, so they just carried on following the blue line to the end of the destination. <laughs> and then in the morning, they worked out, they, they, I think they asked someone in the hotel that they, they had to stay in, and then the fella reprogrammed it to come back to London the next day. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe Lysett, what are you thinking? I think it might be true. I can see real hurt in him. Mm. It's doable. It is doable with yeah. the dyslexia yeah. thing. If it's a lie and you pick up that card, you're not going to follow through on, yes, they discovered halfway through the journey that they were heading to totally the wrong place, <laughs> but decided that the thing to do <laughs> was to follow through on the entire journey. <laughs> it's more plausible that it happened right. than that Joe invented that just now. Basically, David said, there's more chance your mother's stupid than you are creative. <laughs> <laughs> I think we think true. I think we yeah, think true. It's true yeah. that they drove all that way. Uh, Joe Swash, was it true or was it a lie? Yeah, it, it happens, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's 
<laughs> yes, it's true. Joe did accidentally send his mum to the Lake District. Uh, Ruth, you're next. <gasps> right. Because my dog hates loud noises so much, I always put earmuffs on him before we pull our Christmas crackers. All right, please do. <laughs> All right. What type of dog do you have? I have a British Bulldog. The dog don't mind having these on his ears? No, not at all. How old is your dog? He's two. If I've got a new dog mm. and, and we're having Christmas dinner and he don't like the bang, mm. I'll put him in another room. So why am I going to okay, put in all the effort to kind of teach him to put his earmuffs on? Oh, why would you... Like, okay, I don't so think you, did you say teach him to put the earmuffs on? <laughs> I don't think she suggested to go, Oi, Bonzo, we're about to pull again. <laughs> Stick them on. The dog's going... <laughs> <laughs> Lee, <laughs> this is genuinely... you have a new puppy, am I wrong? Uh, well, yes, a fairly new puppy, yes. Would you, if it was frightened of something and it needed you, would you put it in another room? We had a dog that was very frightened yeah. of um, a what firework and sold it. <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you... I don't know if you got... Got advice from a vet or something about what to do, or we were given the name of this dog specialist who could help with anxiety. What was his qualifications? I, I didn't read his qualifications. I suspect I he might mug. have been a market trader that also <laughs> sold earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were my earmuffs. They didn't need to give me earmuffs. Okay, so what are you going to say? Well, I'm kind of neutral about it because I can understand why you might do something like that. Who hasn't wanted to dress up a dog? So it's I believe adorable. She, she might she might put some clothes on it. Have you, you know. dressed up your puppy? Is that a euphemism? <laughs> <laughs> you know I've, uh, I've had a shower, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what are we going to say? So Joe says it's a lie. You think it's a lie? Uh, it's too much hassle. Lie. I think it, it's got to be a lie. Okay, it's you're got saying. Got to be, hasn't it? So you're saying it's a lie. Okay, Ruth. Was it the truth or were you telling a lie? You all look like idiots because it was a lie. Oh. <laughs> Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. It's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, David. <laughs> So, Joe Lysett, what is David to you? This is my neighbour, David, and last year, to save money, we time-shared a Christmas tree. Ruth, <laughs> how do you know David? This is David, and he walked into a charity shop just as I was donating the gift he'd given me a few days earlier. <laughs> right. Ruth's charitable chum. And finally, David, what is your relationship with David? This is David. And when my daughter lost her beloved toy rabbit, we held up a train so I could board it and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Lee's team, where would you like to begin? Joe, next door neighbour? Yeah. Well, first of all, why aren't you just buying your own Christmas tree? Well, David and I decided to save a bit of money. We knew David was going away on Christmas Eve. So he wasn't going to use the Christmas tree after that point. I was working pretty much up until Christmas. So we thought it was a good idea that we... So he save got it. it from the 1st of December? He got it on the 12th to the 24th. Then I had it from the 24th to the 1st. I got rid of it on the 1st. And did you take it decorated? Yeah. Just in one, like that, and just plonk it in your house? So that's why we won't do it again. Because <laughs> we worked out that the, the savings that we made from sharing the cost of the tree, which was about 60 quid. We saved that, but the amount of baubles uh -huh. that we lost in the transit. And this was all about saving £30? Yes. But, you know, you're doing all right. David's not. <laughs> <laughs> what was your Christmas set-up after the 24th? Did you have people staying with you? They didn't stay, but they came for Christmas dinner. For, for the day. Oh, you remember they came to watch EastEnders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You had, the, you had the big row with them, don't you remember? We had the big row, yeah. Right, who would you like to question next? Um, Ruth. Yes. Can you remind us of your... Davey's my cousin, and he walked into a charity shop just as I was donating the gift he'd given me a few days earlier. What was the gift? What was the gift, first of all? Right, it's one of those, you know, them really ugly <laughs> porcelain pig things that open. Huh? You know them on... Cookie like... jar. 
Yeah, but smaller than a cookie jar. Not big enough for a cookie jar, so you couldn't even use it for that. So, sorry, you've gone into the charity shop mm -hmm. to get rid of this pig thing? It, yeah, that's yeah. the only words that can Your cousin's it. walked in? Yeah. And gone, taking a pig for a walk? What are you doing with a pig? <laughs> <laughs> did you say? I didn't <laughs> expect him to be there. Did you, did you carry on with the process of, like, let's get rid... Yeah, you talk us through him. exactly what happened yeah. after he right. walks in. Right, David came in because he saw me. There was absolutely no other reason for him to go in the charity shop. You could tell he was really upset, but without wanting but to... But did he mention... What did he say? He went, oh, what are you doing? Like, he just pointed at this pig yeah. that I'm holding. Yeah. And I panicked, so I said, look, I didn't want to tell you at the time, but I've already got one. Ah. <laughs> So when did he actually find out the truth then? So I had to call David and tell him I was coming on, would I lie to you? And I can't stand the thought of hurting anyone's feelings. So you thought you'd bring him on national television and humiliate him? No, 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 no. no we've, we've since spoke <laughs> and he's lovely. Right. Now, Lee, what about David? David, remind us of your claim and your statement. This is David and he helped me board a train to rescue a rabbit. First of all, <laughs> where were you going from? I was going from London to Cardiff. With, with your wife and child? Exactly. Was, was you going there for a reason? What do you mean by that? You're going to have a reason to go to Cardiff? <laughs> oh, you come down here with your cockney patter. <laughs> People go to Cardiff just because they want to visit it. Sorry, mate. <laughs> did, you, did you like it there, David? It was very nice. Did you Obviously, like it? I, you know, I'd put Carlisle into the train app, so... <laughs> Talk us through what happened. Well, what happened, we got on the train yeah. and she... Uh, this rabbit called... Uh, pink rabbit. It's a pink rabbit. What's it called? She calls it Pink Rabbit. That's it, she's got your sort of creativity. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, she, and it's her second favourite cuddly toy. The, Who's the favourite? The favourite is another rabbit. He's called Wiggles. Wiggles? Oh, OK. Aww. But Wiggles never leaves the house. Oh, has he got an asbo? <laughs> <laughs> It's, just, it's better we always know where Wiggles is. Oh, OK. But, but Pink Rabbit is the, uh, the, the favourite of okay. the toys she will take out of the house. How, how had you acquired the rabbit? Where had the rabbit come from? And it, was probably, <laughs> it was probably a Christmas present right. at okay. some point. Right. But the thing is, it was around for a couple of years, it's among the various... She's got lots of toy rabbits and that sort of thing, and then suddenly, and I'm not quite sure why, yeah. Pink Rabbit came to favour. Wow. It was yeah. like Stalin emerging as the front runner of the Politburo. You know, <laughs> are you, he wasn't are you the still obvious, doing the bedtime stories? He, he wasn't the obvious successor to Lenin, but then a few years later, suddenly he's in charge. So Pink Rabbit has had a meteoric rise. Right. Yeah. You get off the train at Cardiff. Exactly. And we're, when do you realise the rabbit's gone? When we've got to the hotel and my wife realises <gasps> and a look of. She's married to you and has a breakdown. <laughs> Thank you. As always, you've made it so Christmassy. <laughs> uh, but then she sort of takes me aside and says, I don't think we've got Pink Rabbit. So and at no point has your daughter made any reference to this rabbit, even uh, though it's her no, no, favourite no. rabbit. The, the, I know. The thing is, when we got on the train, uh, she, my daughter said, oh, I, I'd like, can we get Pink Rabbit out of the bag? I want to have Pink Rabbit with me on the train. And it was my strong view that that was a bad idea. <laughs> that we should keep Pink Rabbit in the bag where we know where Pink Rabbit is and only get Pink Rabbit out when we get to Cardiff. But, no, I was overruled. It was apparently fine and she would keep an eye on Pink Rabbit and not forget about Pink Rabbit. OK. So, your wife said to you, <laughs> Pink Rabbit's gone. Yeah. Do you phone the train station? Because Pink Rabbit's on the way back to London. No. No? no, 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 no. <laughs> Pink Rabbit is on the way to Swansea. Yeah. Where it is going to turn round and then head back to London via, and here's the loophole, the Lake District. <laughs> no, via Cardiff. The train is coming back via Cardiff. Um, so you know now where the train is headed. So what do you decide to do? We go to Cardiff Station. <laughs> in order to get on it and look for oh. Pink Rabbit. But you All said, for you a said cuddly you... toy. Oh, yes. <laughs> How many children do you have? One. Well, of course, classic, classic <laughs> only child scenario. I've got five. I would have said the rabbit's dead. Get on with your life. <laughs> so what happened? 
Well, we went to the station. Yeah. David was in the, the sort of glass room slash booth next to the barriers. It's nice that he's brought it with him. And <laughs> <laughs> we went up to him and, and said, look, um, we haven't got tickets for the train, but it's, we don't want to get on the train. We want to go and retrieve a, a, a toy rabbit. And he looked quite stern and severe and then nodded and went, yeah, that's fine. And it was, it was, a, it was a wonderful moment of possibility. Right. So then what happened? The train comes into the station. Uh, my wife goes to the front of the train to talk to the driver. She's such a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> and we've worked out where our carriage would be coming in. Yes. I get on the right carriage to look for Pink Rabbit and, as it turned out, thankfully find Pink Rabbit uh, and then get off the train. The bit we haven't heard yet mm. is that if you have specifically said I don't think the rabbit should leave the bag. Yeah. And then you get to the hotel and she says, oh, we haven't got the rabbit. How did that conversation go? <laughs> well, what, what can I say? I'm a <laughs> hell of a guy. <laughs> but what did you actually say? I did not say I told you so. You didn't say I told I you so. I did not say you I told you so. You might have said it with your mouth. Did you say it with your eyes? Oh, well, I can't did you affect go... that, can I? <laughs> I can't affect what they're doing. <laughs> they're always admonishing everyone. <laughs> No, I didn't say that because I knew my wife would already have been thinking it. It was not necessary for me to say those words because they were already in her brain. So be honest. <laughs> and at some point she is going to say, you told me so, for me, yeah. as indeed she subsequently did. And <laughs> so let's that get... is when a relationship is working. <laughs> So, Lee's team, is David Joe's frugal friend, Ruth's charitable chum, or David's rabbit rescuer? This is a tough one. I mean, Ruth is... It's not likely, is it? No, I don't think that's I, I, likely. I'm genuinely torn between David and Joe. I don't know. I've been in the same situation and lost a teddy bear at the airport and I was gutted, quite for ages. I'm going to go with David, because I've been there. I have also been there, so I do feel right. that this could yeah. be true. I I'm aware of, like, how emotionally damaging these situations can be, and for that reason, we didn't buy our children any toys. <laughs> 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 so it's hard to Fair enough. Really. Yeah, yeah. I'll Joe, be... what did you think? Uh, What's David, it going to be? go with David. I'll go with David. We'll go with David. I'm going to say that David held up the train. OK. David, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm David, and David and I rescued his daughter's rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, David is David's rabbit rescuer. Thank you very much, David. <laughs> Which brings us to our final round, Quickfire Lies, and we start with... <clears throat> it's Joe Brand. Uh, this box contains everything I need to play my family's favourite festive game. <gasps> All right, so could you now take the contents out and put them onto the desk, please? Oh. Well, oh. It's, it's, it's a plastic cup. Water. Pen there. Sheet of paper. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks exciting. It, uh, what you do, right, is yeah. you get at the glass. I'm a bit nervous about what you're going to do. Oh, all right. There we Hello. Go, little... You come up like with um, like with a category. A category, yes. Yes. Like... Ah, sorry, I've got a cramp in my foot. Just boil with me a minute. Like diseases keep thinking, of the keep knee. Keep thinking. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. You're right. <laughs> That's better. Thank you. Carry on. <laughs> so so you've come up with a category, yes. Yeah. So and I I'm going to start the game off. So I think of something in that category um, and I write that down on a bit of paper yes you have got to come up with something from the category yes which is trees yeah. so you each say a tree and if anyone says the tree that I've written on the paper I throw this over them <laughs> oh let's play it let's play it we'll give you a category the category is uh, things you might find in a Christmas dinner. So, food items in a Christmas dinner. Right, now, fold the paper up. Don't let them <gasps> see it. OK. OK. Now, 
Joe, yeah. Lee and, and Joe Swash are your sons. They've no, come no, home. No, 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 no. They're back from the youth detention centre. Would you like centre. my friend Robert to play? <laughs> yes. Rob, my mum says you can play. Thanks. You can come in and have a play. <laughs> We're all playing the game. Oh, hang on a minute. No, wait a minute. I'm told that my... I'm being told that my desk is not waterproof. Oh, yeah. But you're... No, seriously, oh, but, but there's it. Oh, no, my God, yes! I'm sorry. Being told. Yes. Sorry. yes. Now, my desk also... I'm so sorry. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just being told my skin fun. is soluble. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. That's what they're telling me. Oh. So remember now, boys, <laughs> the category is things in a Christmas dinner. <laughs> get ready. Here we go. Let's get the tension. Sorry. OK. Yeah. Lee Mack, oh. something you'd find in a Christmas dinner. OK, I'm going to go for a... Not roast. Ooh. Oh, the yeah. tension there when she that said was, it. Yeah, wow. it's, OK, it's... Joe Swash. Uh, a Brussels sprat. Oh. oh, it's back this to Lee. This is unbearable. Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely unbearable. This is a great game. I'm going to go for a carrot. Oh, oh, Joe Swash. Pigs in blankets. Oh, oh. Lee. Oh, double look me. <laughs> Turkey. <laughs> oh, 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 the oh, Joe Swash. This is an unbelievably stressful game. <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's not a Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding in the Mark Christmas oh, dinner. No, this is yes. no. only because it's oh. that sat nav for Brussels yeah, spaghetti. No. <laughs> 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 oh, gravy. He said gravy as gravy. well. Gravy. He said gravy. Lee gravy. Mac. Cranberry sauce. <laughs> Joe Swash. A bit of turkey. He said turkey. Yeah. He said turkey. Yeah. 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 No. Okay, I'll go with some carrots. He said carrots. Carrots. <laughs> carrots. I didn't hear you say carrots. <laughs> but I'll go with some stuffing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. Right. Oh, right. Oh. So. That's the happiest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> was that game <laughs> genuinely something that Joe plays, or did she just make it up, truth or lie? Even if it's not, to come up with that on the spot is brilliant. I'm yeah. playing that on Christmas Day. Oh, it's okay. a brilliant game. If Joe invented that game <laughs> in the last few seconds, exactly. reading off a card, then, well, she'd be a genius. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so what's it going to be, truth or lie? We're going to say true. OK, Joe. This it's incredible a Christmas game. Oh, my goodness. Truth me. or lie? It's true. No! Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, it's true. Joe does play the game every Christmas. Oh, and that noise signals time is up. It's the end of the show. I can reveal that Lee's team have won by three points to two. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night.